Привет, comrades! Spang bringing you another World of Tanks commentary. This game, this game I just played. And I have to say, it was a rather interesting game. It took an approach I did not see coming. And this made it for a very, very exciting and fun game. I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, this is Siegfried Line. And I am playing my IS-3, hence the bad Russian accent and the bad puns in the, for the video titles. I know, they are very bad, but I love bad puns, they make me laugh. Anyway, let's get to the game. I am going to do what I typically do on this map when I spawn on the north, which is, I just rush into town. Um, I, I don't really think about it too often, because there is very little strategy in, to my early game most of the time. But, here we go. So, I am trying to get a shot off on these tanks. I, I think they are trying to go around, and I am going to try to get a shot on their side armor when they come around. But, <laughs> that T-110, that, that is a very scary American tank. I, I'm not going to engage that. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to let the big tanks fight it out. And I will go support the eastern side because as you can see eastern side is having a bit of trouble and I'm going to be a good teammate I'm going to be a good comrade and go help my team right here I try to shoot but there is no shot I, I mean there is for a quick moment but nothing I can really rely on and here I do not want to go out because well I don't want to die it's a very simple concept, da. But here I shoot Type 59. It's a decent tank, but I, I does does not stand much of a chance against a, an IS-3, especially at that distance. Now, as you can see, Eastern flank is very, very much in trouble. And so, what do I do? I I support low, and first of all, I try to shoot IS-4 and miss. Uh, but uh, I support Low and other teammates who are rushing to the aid of the eastern side. So T-34 very hurt the T-44. Uh, not the T-34, but the T-44 medium tank is also hurt. And this IS-3, he does not want to drive in front of us. It's probably a good decision, but it will not save him in the end. So T-44, I'm trying to decide which target to shoot. Uh, town currently is doing fairly well. I mean, the largest threat right now is this Eastern Push. And I will hurt I, uh, T-44, hit him for a good amount of damage. The French tank will come in and finish him off. I will do the same thing to... I will try to do the same thing to this IS-3, but he dies before I get to shoot. So, you cannot... You can't hurt everybody, and right now they are capturing our base. They, so this is a big problem, but at the same time I do not want T Tiger 2, the King Tiger, to come up behind me. I hit him, I figure he's dead, and I will. right now he's going to die. There. So I, I shot him, got him very low on the health, and now I am going to address the bigger problem of the enemy in our base. But... As you can see, the capture just got reset, I will shoot T-34, try to kill him, but do not quite kill him, I will focus on the IS-4 now, much harder enemy to kill, but not when you shoot him in the side. So I will shoot him, and he is now a one shot, the T-110 and myself working very well together, because when America and Russia cooperate, as rare as it may be, it often works out. So this enemy T-110 is a very stupid player. Who He rushed out in the middle of an open field to get shot at by I do not even know how many tanks. He Yes, his frontal armor is good, but that doesn't matter when we are shooting him in the side and in the rear. So that T-110, not a very smart player. I think he really did not consider the consequences of his actions, which... You know, it can be a problem. So I've yet to get a kill, but I've done a good amount of damage. And 
you know, you don't always have to get kills to be effective in this game. I will try to shoot IS-3 right here, but as you see, my shell kind of decides to go into the building instead. At this point, I feel like our victory is guaranteed, and really, it is. We still have our tier 10 tank. He is doing very well for El Arishita Law because I knew I would not get to shoot that IS-3 before he died. Law is already on his way to his deathbed. And right here, I get splashed. I, I barely get hit by artillery. And all they do is manage to break my track. This is nothing more than a minor inconvenience. And so I will continue on to enemy base as if nothing happened. There is artillery. And right here, I'm trying to actually stop to take a shot, but the W key on my keyboard got stuck. So what I will do is I actually go exit the game, and I jump, I alt tab out of the game and go back into it, and that usually fixes the problem. But right now my W key has stopped working altogether. So you will see me do this little shuffle back and forth, try to move my tank up. And then you will re then I will realize I can just press the R key and put on cruise control in move forward like that. See the little shuffle? I, I found that rather amusing. But see, as I said, I figure out I can just put on the R key, put on cruise control, and head forward. But it proves to be unnecessary. Sadly, the T110 did not get Confederate, you know. So it it turns out we almost lost this game because we did, the enemy had a very strong push on one side, and usually when that happens, you do lose, uh, and they end up capturing your base. But, as you can see, we won. And I get a decent amount of experience and credits, especially considering what I, what I spent, which was very minimal. And I get confederate, because I shot seven of their team, and I detected one, I did not happen to kill any of their team, but you know, this game recognizes good teamwork. Anyway, if you like that, uh, if you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And this has been Spang, Dos Vidania.